today I plan on making the most valuable harvest on the farm that's ever been done before. This is now possible because of one new addition that came from Stardew Valley 1.5. If you've seen my other videos, you know just how powerful this bad boy is. Deluxe Fertilizer. With that being said, let's get into it. No one wants you. Okay, so the plan for today is to plant a sweet gem berry in every single tile on this farm we can, but we're going to use the new Deluxe Fertilizer to make it as valuable as possible. That means though that I have to start clearing out this farm. Don't worry though, it won't take me that long. If you didn't know, I'm actually somewhat of a speedrunner. I actually hold a 9 second time for Google Minesweeper, so this is nothing for me. Okay, I decided I'm gonna go get a tractor because doing that one by one would be miserable. Why? She opens at 9 a.m. Why do you walk? This is such a terrible way to run a business. The reason I was initially holding off on getting this tractor was because you can see it takes eight tiles, so that's eight sweet gem berries that we're going to be missing out on, but I feel like the time we're going to be saving with this, it's kind of like a must or else this video would be like 10 hours. Cobalt from the future here, I just realized that I literally could have just put this on the grass and it would have taken no farm tiles at all. Um, I'm an idiot and I apologize. Why are you still here? Whatever, anyways, we're gonna go off the bed and hopefully the tractor barn is ready. Nope. Okay, it's done now, so it's time to finally clear off this farm so we can start planting. Okay, so I cleared out everything but the rocks because I thought it would look cool and uh, I mean it looks cool, right? Okay, this is stupid, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so all the debris is finally cleared and now I'm going to hoe every single tile I can find. Hopefully I get them all. Some of them are really hard to see. Like these ones up here, I wouldn't even think you could hoe. So. I am going to try my best not to miss any, but if I do miss one or two, I apologize. It's all been hoed, and now I am putting down the deluxe fertilizer, so we are almost done. I am still undecided on whether or not to include the greenhouse in this, just because like, my goal on this is to have the biggest harvest that's been done on the farm before, and the greenhouse was on the farm in the previous version so I feel like it might be fair game but I don't know if that's in the spirit of the challenge I haven't really decided yet but I will get back to you guys on that one okay just this last little patch and we are finally done this took way longer than it should have but now we can move into actually planting the crops okay I think I need like 4,000 ish seeds but I'm just gonna do this to be safe and <laughs> <laughs> I'm, in the wrong, I'm in the wrong season. Okay, this might be optimistic, but I'm thinking there's a chance that the deluxe fertilizer will keep these plots plowed when I go to sleep. So if that's the case, then I can sleep my way to fall and we can just plant during that. So let's hope for the best. All right, we're going off to bed. Got some levels in foraging. Actually, that's kind of... Wow, four levels just from clearing out your farm, because that's all I did today. I didn't realize it was that much, but okay. Oh, God. It, Marnie, not the time. It's not the time. Okay, one second. I got a plan. Okay, so I went ahead and installed a time skipper mod. It was actually the only one out there, which was kind of surprising to me, but it looks like with this, we should be able to skip ahead all the way over to fall without any problems. All right, let's give this a shot. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to look like this. Oh my god, everything is falling apart. <laughs> okay, new plan. I will just sleep my way to fall and deal with the consequences. What are the odds of that? Neat. Okay, and it is now the first of fall officially, so we can finally do this. Oh my god, not you again. I didn't realize she comes back. Does she do this every month? I might as well just say yes so that she stops bothering me. Oops. 
Alright, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do this, but I think I am going to include the greenhouse as part of the farm, because this was in the 1.14 update too. I know I'm not going to use Ginger Island, because I wouldn't count that, that's not really fair, but this was in 1.14, so I'm going to use this as well. Alright, and I guess let's finally start planting some rare seeds. Greenhouse is done, now for the rest of the farm. Okay, so we've got everything planted, so all we gotta do is wait for it to grow, and then we're good. I'm just kidding, I'm gonna cheat. Okay, our farm is now officially filled with sweet gem berries, so all we gotta do is harvest them, and we will have the biggest harvest in Stardew Valley history. So far. After having to do the beginning part of this thing twice, this is so satisfying to finally be able to harvest these. And look at the iridium crops, that is such a cool sight to see, because these weren't in the game before 1.15, so this is awesome. Okay, the main part of our farm is just about done, and all we gotta do is harvest the greenhouse. Already we have over a stack of iridium quality sweet gem berries, so this should be worth a ton. I, uh... I don't think I can get my tractor in here, so we're going to have to do this one by hand. Okay, the greenhouse is just about done, so we are almost ready to get the final price tally. I have been recording for over an hour and a half, so I am so excited to finally see how much this is worth. I forgot to put them in the bin. Okay, with these in the bin, I think we are finally ready to see exactly how much this farm was worth. Alright, moment of truth. Wow, okay, I think, what is that, 7.6 million? It's oh, it's actually like kind of hard to tell how many digits are there when it's waving. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's 7.6 million though. That is insane. That is actually insane, that is so cool though. Okay, I kind of want to check out the breakdown now, because I'm just curious to see how much of this actually came from the iridium quality. That is nowhere near 7.6 million. What? Look at that. Literally one of those alone is like 6 million. We literally broke the game. It can't display the amount of money we got right. It'll probably show it right in the main game, but it that actually is broken. That's not the right amount of money. Uh, okay, 17.6 million. That seems right to me. So yeah, it, it shows it right in game. To finish things out though, I'd say, let's plant these parsnips. We were kind of mean to them for no reason, so I think it's the least we can do. And with that, that's all I have for you guys today. So if you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me a lot, but that's all I got, so I'll see you in the next one. Peace.